hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. It's Liverpool, they face Manchester United and it's live on EA TV. And a warm welcome. Our venue today is the Etihad Stadium here in Manchester. I'm Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board alongside me is Stuart Robson, my commentary partner. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It is Liverpool up against Manchester United. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Number 20, Diogo Jota. And number 11, Mo Salah. Let's take a look at the Liverpool starting 11. Alisson gets the nod in goal. Trent Alexander-Arnold plays with Andrew Robertson in the wide defensive areas. Jordan Henderson starts alongside Fabinho in the centre of midfield. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. And here's the lineup for Manchester United. Davi De Gea begins in goal. Harry Maguire plays alongside Rafael Varane in central defence. Casemiro plays alongside Bruno Fernandes in central midfield. And leading the line today is Cristiano Ronaldo. Contest begins. here well negligent in front of goal no two ways about that Cristiano Ronaldo and Rashford no possibilities inside the box Well, I think, Stuart, you have to feel for any defender charged with the task of keeping Mo Salah quiet. He can be fantastic to watch. Well, he's a good all-round player. When he's closing the ball down, he does it at pace. When he's linking up the play, he's good at that. But his real attribute and his threat is when he runs in behind. And a goal! 1-0! And what a fast start they've made to this game! Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just look how well balanced he is. He knows he's going to be under pressure, but he shows great composure to hit the target. underway once more Let's see if United have the wherewithal to square the game defensive Brazilians to shut them down how about the cross insufficient guile on the crossing front you've got to say easy save for Davi De Gea Got McTominay and does well to keep it in play. Bruno Fernandes. Now, what can they do from here? But they dealt with the threat posed. Rashford! And a goal here just 
what Manchester United required. They are level. Well, here's the replay. And when you've got the ball at the back, you've got to pass it forward. And he doesn't do that there. He has his pocket picked and he's been rightly punished. So back underway. One goal apiece here. Andrew Robertson, Thiago, Fabinho now, it did look on for them but not to be, Alexander-Arnold, Jota, he can't hold on to it, and at the second time of asking, it's a goal! The keeper, meanwhile, looks to the heavens. Well, here it is again. And the striker does everything right. Hitting it across the goalkeeper, making it difficult for him. And then a player coming in for the rebound. What a good goal it is. Everything right from the striker's point of view. Rolling again, 2-1 the scoreline. What a shocking pass, really. Sancho. This could level it. Well, not the end result he had in mind. Well, we know he can hit them from that sort of range, but that was a poor effort in the end. Scott McTominay. Bruno Fernandes has it. They might be able to get in now. Rashford, struggling to get it away. Well, far from the ideal pass. Good looking ball, there could be a chance now. Ronaldo, excellent defending. I just missed that little bit of attacking spark. Goalkeeper's ball. You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. And that is going to mean a caution. The referee is absolutely right. He knew what he was doing there. Fabinho an important interception Rashford Ronaldo was an important piece of defending They're going for the short one. And it's in! A goal for Manchester United, who find themselves now level. Well, here it is again, and they go short just to get a different angle on the cross. And it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that.
So back underway, dead level, 2 2. Diogo Jota. Salah. Oh, that's a really good authoritative tackle. Throw in here. Well, putting it wide from there. A pity, really. Fabinho, not a very complicated catch for the keeper. Cristiano Ronaldo. Diogo Dallo on the ball. And breaking at pace with Menace. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? Sancho and Cristiano Ronaldo waiting. Well, still an issue here. Ronaldo, terrific block. A goal! That's two for him today. They simply can't stop him. No wonder he's celebrating. Well, here it is again, and the clearance just isn't good enough. Giving up possession in a dangerous area, just poor defending all round. Testing times for Liverpool. Can they pass this test? Given away by Ronaldo. Making progress. He simply couldn't beat the first defender. Well, when you look at this again, there's two things wrong defensively about this. First of all, the goalkeeper should not be parrying it into a dangerous area, and the defenders have to be sharper to get to the knockdown. It's not good defending all round. And so it is, the first half story has been written. Well, there's a reason why we're highlighting Cristiano Ronaldo. He's been very creative out there, Stuart. Well, I think he's been outstanding so far. He's looked a constant threat and he scored a very good goal. What a player he is. Away they go, the second half begins, and Manchester United in front. Bruno Fernandes. No possibilities inside the box. Ready to fire. Well, good defending, clattered out of there. Luis Diaz. It was going to take an audacious effort to beat the goalkeeper from there.
Cristiano Ronaldo. Bruno Fernandes. Sancho. Will he find the net? A strong hand on the ball. And they'll get ready for the throw-in. Well, what a brilliant save that was. I can't believe he's kept that one out. A Liverpool free kick coming up. Fabinho. Roberto Firmino. This is Thiago. Body in the way. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. They need to get bodies back. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Good pressure high up the pitch. Bruno Fernandes. Well, there it is. United have had most of the ball and have used it really well today, particularly in the midfield areas. And I expect more of the same as the game goes on. Here's a change for Manchester United. Well, I couldn't quite find his teammate. It's a good looking ball in behind. Oh, good work by the keeper. And no nonsense defensive clearance. A very good tackle. Happy to take on the shot. Well, tremendous block. Can they keep it out? And he gobbles off the second chance. Disappointment for the keeper. No wonder he's asking questions of his defence. Well, the initial save is a good one, as you can see, but unfortunately, it drops straight to an opponent. A bit unlucky, really. Now oh, the ball is moving again, and Liverpool are giving this a real go. It's a fine United move in the making. It is to be a throw-in. Rashford. Well, still an issue here. Can they hit on the break? A disadvantage Liverpool here. Well, that pass easy on the eye. What an astonishing few minutes from seemingly out of it. It's all square again. Can you believe it? Well, here's the replay. And just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. Too many score lines like this one. 4-4. Four, four. He's beaten his man. Now delivering that deep cross. Well, I suspected that might be difficult for the keeper, but I was wrong. Matip. Into the final 20 minutes. Roberto Firmino. Liverpool sloppy in possession. United might be able to cash in. And it's played into the centre. And a goal it is to put them in front again. No less than they deserve.
Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. But then you have to ask what's going on with the defending. He's afforded far too much time, nowhere near enough pressure on him, and they're punished as a result. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. A dramatic moment near the end and that might well be the decider the tackle completely missed time and you would expect a booking under the circumstances and the yellow card for that Stuart and he's gonna have to be careful now that was a silly challenge Quite the tantalising free kick he was hoping for. Goalkeeper's ball. Sancho. Well, not the pass he had in mind. Liverpool continue to attack with time against them here. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Oh, lovely incisive pass. Sancho. Let's take another look, and I'm not sure what the keeper was thinking there. Just look at his position. He made it far too easy for him to score. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Neither side shy about shooting in this match. Luis Diaz showing a lot of guile there. Oh, fine stop. Five minutes to go. Chances on. And the ball is loose. Well, whatever way you slice it, that was a terrible miss. Well, he'll know what a bad miss that was. I'm not sure how he got that off target. Here's a change for Manchester United. Delivering it. Well, it might still work out for them. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Naby Keita. Artur. And the referee has decided to add on a minimum of five minutes. It's a clever run here from Rashford. And the danger's still on. Oh, is he going to be punished here? Sancho! 
Can they slot it home? Fred. And the attempt just wide. So unfortunate. Luis Diaz. Free kick awarded to Liverpool. Not a pity that it looked pro the sound of the referee's whistle and the headline here Liverpool lose your assessment of the performance well Derek I thought it was a subpar performance from them just didn't look as sharp as normal and I don't think they deserved anything from the game they need to get a better performance in next time out